Hello and welcome to my studio. It's Lois here from Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. I hope you're doing well. Um, it's a little bit cold and damp here in the UK and sadly I'm having some problems with my power and my internet. There are some difficulties uh, with my supply um, so today's video I'm just going to quickly film using my phone and show you what I'm up to at the moment in my own personal work. It might give you a bit of insight into sort of what happens in the studio with my own personal paintings. My current project is um, one where I'm exploring Shoreham Harbour. It's the harbour very close to where I live and um, I've been on a few visits there, sketching, drawing, taking photographs, just sort of really soaking in the atmosphere of the place. And I'll show you a little bit of how I take those ideas, those first thoughts, and sort of begin to work them up into finished paintings. What you can see in front of you is two very similar paintings of different sizes. The top left is uh, my colour sketch and below it is one of the finished paintings from this project. It's a watercolour and ink painting. It's quite large. It's on a half imperial sheet and it depicts the beach at Shoreham and the breakwaters near the harbour arm. It was inspired by this part of the harbour and um, as you can see it's really picturesque. There's lots of interest there and it's just one of the things that I really want to try and sort of get across in my paintings. Here's a close-up of some of the wooden structures of the breakwaters which I'm sketching and drawing at the moment and trying to sort of uh, turn into interesting and unusual paintings. When I paint uh, for myself, it's just kind of to express something of the feeling of the place and how I respond to the atmosphere there. Here we are, here's a little bit more, and you can see the incredible patterns that are made by these wooden pilings with all the sort of algae and seaweed and barnacles as the tide washes in and out over these breakwaters. There's also, of course, parts of the harbour itself that really interest me uh, with these sort of lobster warehouses and these crab and lobster fishing boats and all the kind of accoutrements to do with the business piled up on the dockside. It's really very interesting. I'm only in the very early stages of this project. I'd imagine that it'll go on for a few months behind the scenes. Uh, my own personal paintings are very different from what I demonstrate on YouTube and Patreon. Um, so this sort of goes on in the background. So the first thing that I usually do once I've got some ideas and photographs, I begin to work up sketches, trying out different ideas, seeing if the things that I'm thinking of are going to work either in pencil or fine liner and also with colour sketches, maybe big bold markers, that sort of thing. Just scribbling out rough ideas and making notes about my ideas so that I can record my thoughts and feelings all the way through. This helps me. It's kind of like research. It's building up ideas so that I can then build up um, successful ideas for compositions that are going to work. I can think of ideas, scribble them down and think, ah, oh, that doesn't work because it isn't balanced or I need to change this, maybe move this around, all this sort of thing. So if we go in a little bit closer, you can see that I'm trying to sort of play with the shapes of these breakwaters, playing with the textures as well, seeing how they look with kind of looking uh, sort of with re reflections in the wet sand at low tide. Putting them into larger compositions as well gives me ideas for starting points. And then also I can work on the boats, trying to work out arrangements of the shapes that I see in front of me along the harbour wall and trying to turn them, them into a painting that kind of will work, which will be balanced. And at this stage of a project, I'm really flexible. I haven't got any fixed ideas in my mind about the compositions that I want. That's what this stage helps me to do. It helps me to refine my ideas. And then when I start to paint, 
then I have those ideas refined and sort of distilled. I know what's probably going to work and what isn't because I've sorted it all out in the sketchbook. The same with my colour ideas. So I've got a couple of pages here of colour swatches and experiments and colour play where I've played with the colours that I feel are going to work for me, particularly in the breakwater part of the project. There's going to be two distinct parts, the breakwater part and the harbour part with the fishing boats. And so this spread of my A3 sketchbook, so quite a large sketchbook, are a few more ideas. And this time I'm trying out some slightly different colours, some muddier colours, because the working harbour with the crab and lobster boats has a very sort of um, functional feel to it. A lot of the boats are showing signs of wear and tear from the salt water of the sea. There's rust, there's, um, there's sort of uh, layers of paint peeling off. The warehouses are a little bit run down. Um, everything's sort of piled up in a functional way rather than a beautiful way. So I want the colours of these ones to reflect that, whereas I want the, uh, the colours of the breakwater scenes to be much more translucent and serene. So here you see my first painting of one of the working boats and I hope you can see how these colours really work and also the deep tonal values work to kind of describe um, these working boats. I'm really pleased with this as a first painting. Um, I want to paint a lot more in, in this part of the series but so far this is the first finished painting um, involving the boats. The second finished painting was based on this sketch of the breakwater beach. So I started off with my idea by um, pencilling it out onto a piece of watercolour paper because I knew I wanted to take it through all the stages of um, sketch line work. And here it's the line work has been done with, <coughs> excuse me, waterproof fine liners uh, because I'm working on this as, as a line and wash series. And then finally, applying the paint with the colours that I'd tried out previously to this um, quarter imperial sheet uh, colour sketch. And I'm really pleased with this. This is almost a finished painting. It's at that stage where I can look at it and see that there's a few things that haven't worked, but I can change them in the finished painting. Now, here's the finished painting, which I'm really pleased with. Um, you can see it's a lot bigger than the sketch, but it's pretty similar to that. There's just been a few little changes and it's been refined even further, maybe a little bit more detail around the focal points of interest, etc, etc. If I just zoom in a little bit, you can see how there's a lot more detail here than there was in the sketch, but I'm still keeping it very simple. But the colours here are really translucent. Um, and quite sort of um, minimally painted on, if you see what I mean, creating the atmosphere with a very light touch. And that was the idea here, to sort of capture that amazing radiance and the feeling of peace and serenity that I got when I was on the beach, when I'd walked away from the working part of the harbour. And now for the final finished painting so far, and this is my first painting exploring the shapes and the patterns of the breakwaters as patterns and shapes in themselves. So I've tried to work on um, describing the texture of the wood, the green of the algae, the deep shadows that are cast by that winter sun. Um, and I'm really pleased with the way that this uh, smaller painting has turned out. I want to do a lot more of these paintings of the breakwaters just as patterns like this. And that's as far as I've got so far. Um, I've got a lot more sketches and ideas in the pipeline and I'll be refining these ideas further and I'm really enjoying this project. It's got me completely engaged and I'm finding it a really interesting subject to explore. Uh, the two sides of it are interesting too. There's the very beautiful sort of design-driven kind of 
light and serene beach breakwater scenes. And they're juxtaposed against the sort of very workaday, working boats, working harbour scenes. But I'm hoping that I can bring them both together into this painting series so that all the paintings work well as a whole. Well, many thanks for watching. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments and if you've got any projects that you're working on at the moment. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. We really do appreciate your support and couldn't run the channel without you. If you'd like to sign up to support us on Patreon, then please <coughs> excuse me, follow either of the links below. Right, and now time for me to get back into the studio and to carry on with some of my ideas and to bring a few more paintings together and just to work on refining my sketches and the exciting process of seeing where these ideas will take me. So I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.